Tip Learns. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Learns. First week of university is over. Um, it feels really good to be back. Um, I had a couple of lectures this week. Uh, I've started three modules in total, um, and they really just chuck you headfirst in when you're at this level. Um, with sort of undergraduate degree, they warm you up a little bit, you know, give you a few tasks to do that you're not really marked on, they don't really matter. It's just to sort of get you into the flow, get you settled in. But with a master's degree, you've only got one year. Um, so they chuck you into the deep end straight away, which I've been really enjoying actually. Um, I have three modules at the moment. There's digital media principles, there's design practice, and there's emerging media. Digital media principles um, is basically a module that helps you choose your course through the masters and what um, paths you wish to take, whether you want to focus on things like motion graphics or um, things like print design, things like that. Uh, the design practice module is quite a good one. The brief we were given for it is very loose. Um, we're just tasked with designing an app or website that solves a problem. That's it, that's the only thing. So I've got some nice ideas brewing for that. Hopefully something that I can share with you on the channel as it progresses. Um, hopefully something that we can get you guys involved in. Although that's more to do with the emerging media module. Um, emerging media essentially means things that are currently sort of in their infancy. Um, but are on their way to becoming major milestones in design. Things like augmented reality, uh, docu-gaming, things like that, dragon cancer. Um, other things like um, ephemeral media, so short form media, like things like Snapchat or Instagram stories, Snapchat less so now, um, which exist only for a short period of time before they're destroyed. Um, exploring avenues like that, essentially. Uh, another form of uh, emerging media is things like um, crowdsourcing or community-based creation and that's something that I'm hoping um, as long as it's valid for the course to bring in with you guys on the channel so keep an eye out for that and hopefully we can create something together. A little bit like the intro to uh, infographics in motion competition that I did before but more on that another time. Um, I'm getting used to taking notes again uh, I have filled up perhaps, well, you can see how much already in one week. Um, this is all, this is all progress towards, at the moment, um, two modules, my design principles module and my design practice module, for which I'll be making, or not making, just designing a um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu motivation app. Uh, more on this later, essentially as I develop it, but um, my, my problem is the drop off that in sort of attendance that people see in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu once they get their blue belt, a phenomenon known as the blue belt blues. Uh, and my app is going to be sort of a motivation activity tracking app to help complement and, and sort of reduce the impact of that drop off. At the moment, all I've managed to do is for one week, which isn't bad, um, I've come up with uh, a little wireframe for the way I'm going to present it on my website, um, which I'll probably overlay now so you can see that. Uh, I've come up with a few um, storyboard shots for a video promo that I'm going to shoot. It isn't required, but I feel like I could leverage my film background here in order to you know, make a little bit of an impact. Um, and I've come up with uh, the main functionalities of the app as well. Um, so hopefully as I do more of that, I'll be able to share it with you guys. Uh, I might do once this is full, a little um, notebook breakdown, if that makes sense. So we'll go through my notes and analyze them and, and see what my thought processes were. If that's something, of course, that you are interested in. Uh, apart from that, I've been given a pretty extensive reading list, um, working my way through design and the creative process at the moment. I've already finished, uh, excuse me, I've already finished two of uh, two of my books so far. Both of them are quite um, boring, isn't the word, but they're not particularly design books. This one, Engage, is about uh, learning to deal with customers and measuring client success on the web and reinventing you which honestly wasn't particularly helpful for me um, because the book starts by assuming that you're miserable where you are in your life essentially and you know uh, but the, the reason they're getting us to read it is because it's about defining your brand as a person uh, now I've kind of done that already a little bit with tipped up but that's a brand in its own um, this is more about presenting yourself and making sure the world sees you in the way that you want to be seen 
Aside from those, which I'm working my way through, if you watch my previous video, you'll notice that this is my core reading list. It's pretty comprehensive. There's about 45 other books as well. This one isn't on the reading list, but was recommended by my lecture and I recommend it as well. It's phenomenal. It's called White Space is Not Your Enemy. And basically it explores design principles from the point of view who someone that doesn't have a background in design which means anybody that does have a background in design can consume it really, really easily. And it really gets across the points of core principles, things like composition, color theory, that sort of stuff really, really well. Then there's a number of other books, researching virtual worlds, that's for augmenting reality, uh, collecting creativity, how, le learning how to collaborate with others, researching virtual worlds I've just shown you, uh, collaborative leadership, again, another design based book. This one's quite good. How Designers Think, The Design Process Demystified, uh, basically analyzes, it's not very pretty to look at, but analyzes again how to be creative, how to constrain yourself according to um, client needs. Then there's a couple of sketching user experience books. There's a lot of UI and UX stuff on this course. Um, really good for learning how to quickly get your ideas down without being bogged down in the design so you can work on the functionality side of things same sort of thing for this one and then the final book there's a couple more which i didn't manage to find in the library they were out so this isn't the complete core reading list there's designing brand identity which is a more creative look at that reinventing you sign of things um, learning how brands utilize things like color design things like that to um, ensure consistent branding across different products different platforms that sort of thing making my way through all of those uh, it is a bit of a journey oh, they're a bit heavy so i only carry around a couple at a time like i said at the moment working my way through design in the creative process which is basically an analysis and deconstruction of, of eight very famous um famous design jobs in the world so one was the reinventing of the logo of Citibank and stuff like that very interesting lots to get through so with that I'll leave you um, to get on with your days and I've got to do a little bit more work myself so thank you very much for watching everybody um, I'm going to try and keep doing these update videos let me know if you find them informal uh, entertaining uh, useful um, or if you want me to talk about other stuff that's fine as well I don't really know I'm sort of exploring a new kind of series of this one Thank you very much and I'll see you in a couple of weeks when I've got more info to share on my different modules and what you guys can do to help me out. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.